ASPCA was founded in the year 1873 and has run continually ever since, except during the years of the occupation. Always at its present location in the heart of St Andrew's Parish, central to the whole island. The shelter has its own population of ducks, geese and other wildfowl, many of whom take up permanent residence whilst recovering from injury. A pecking order is soon established. The St Francis Cattery houses cats and kittens awaiting new homes. Comfortable, clean surroundings, listening to their favourite radio station, they are able to view prospective new owners in close proximity. The shelter takes in boarding animals and birds to increase its revenues, and for them, as well as for the strays, there are washing and cleaning facilities and well-run food kitchens where special diets can be prepared and all wins catered for. For those stray dogs awaiting new homes, any visitor is greeted eagerly with hopeful eyes, wagging tail and a loud bark. It is hungry work. In a coastal environment, the threat of pollution is never far away. Birds which have been coated with oil are first cleaned with a detergent. A special enclosure with de-oiling spray equipment assists in their treatment. enjoy it. The seawater tank aids their rehabilitation. A new aviary for the recuperation of birds has been built. In the animal hospital, individual care is provided to those animals who are recovering from either injury, illness or recuperating from an operation. The attention is a two-way process. The shelter has two fully equipped ambulances which travel over 15,000 miles a year around the island. Two-way radio plays an important part in maintaining the links between the GSPCA and other organisations. The duties of the drivers include collecting and delivering animals to homes, the airport and the various ferries. Here, the dog Kipling, albeit reluctantly, 
is going to have a short holiday at the shelter. Whereas the cat is bound for one of the veterinary practices to undergo a minor operation. is an organisation which serves those members of our community who have no voice of their own.